Alrighty, so for this problem, there are a couple of different things that I need to do. First of all, I need to write out the products for this double replacement reaction, and then I'm going to write out the full ionic equation and show you how to write out the net ionic. So the first thing for you to know is that for a double replacement reaction, innies and outies go together. So Li is an outie, so it's going to go with the Cl, and Mg is an innie, so it's going to go with PO4. Now, another important thing and a misconception that a lot of people have is that this 3 represents the charge of Li. That's false. The only reason why this 3 is here is because PO4 has a 3 minus charge, so in order for this entire ionic compound to have no charge, Li, which has a plus 1 charge, there must be 3 of them. So when I'm combining compounds to complete a double replacement, or when I'm combining elements to complete a double replacement reaction, I ignore these subscripts. This subscript, this is part of PO4, so I don't ignore this 4, and I ignore this 2. I'm just concerned about the charges. So for Li, I'm going to combine it with Cl. Now, I've got to know, I've got to cross charges, so I'm going to say, okay, Li is a plus 1, Cl is a minus 1, and if you don't need to write this awesome, it'll save you time. So the first thing that's going to be made is LiCl. Now, the metal must go first, or the positive must go first, followed by the negative. The order in which I write the two compounds, so if I put LiCl second, that's totally fine. I need to now also cross Mg, which has a 2 plus charge, and PO4, which has a 3 minus charge. So when I cross those charges, what I'm going to get is Mg3, in parentheses, PO4, 2. Okay. Now what I need to do is balance. So I've got one PO4 here. I've got two PO4s here, so I'm going to put a 2 in front. Now I've got six Li, so I've got to put a 6 here. Now I've got six CLs here, but only two here, so I've got to put a 3 there. 3 MGs, 3 MGs, I'm good and I'm balanced. The next thing to do is determine whether things are soluble or insoluble. Now, one thing in this entire reaction must be insoluble, and it's going to be on the product side if you haven't realized that already. So if you look up at your, in, up your solubility rules, you'll see that lithium is always going to be soluble, so that's soluble. MgCl2 is soluble, LiCl is soluble, while Mg3PO42 is insoluble. Now. If something is soluble for my full ionic, I'm going to break it up into its ions. So for here, I'm going to start with breaking up Li3PO4. Now, I've got 2 times 3, I've got 6 lithium. So it's just like I'm balancing when I'm putting the number of each ion. So 6 lithiums, so I've got to put the charge, which is plus 1. Plus, I've got 2 PO4, so 2 PO4. And this guy doesn't need to go in parentheses. So 2 PO4 three minuses, okay, plus I'm going to break up MgCl2 as well, so I've got three Mg2 pluses, Oopa. okay, I've got, if you count them, I've got six Cl's because three times two is six, so six Cl minuses, Then, on the other side, I need to break up LiCl as well because it's soluble. So I've got six Li's. Okay. Um, I've got six Cl minuses. And then the one thing that is insoluble is my Mg3 PO42. So I, oops, Mg, backwards, 3, 3. So I'm going to keep this together because it's insoluble. Now, my next step as I'm finishing writing this up is, going to, cro is to, be, to cross out anything that's the same on either side. So if you notice, I've got 6 Li pluses here. I've got 6 Li pluses here. Remember, plus 1 and plus are the same thing, so those will cancel. If you notice you have something that looks very similar, but say, let's say here there's only a 3 what that tells you is up here you forgot to balance. So go back and check your balancing. Okay, Here I've got 6 Cl's, 6 Cl's. And so what I'm left with, that's going to be my net ionic. So I've got 2 PO4, 3 minuses, plus 3 
mg2 plus is. And what that gives you is your mg3. So the reason why this matters, guys, the reason why we write my net ionic equation is because this is the reaction that is actually happening. When I add these two things together, the reaction that actually takes place is what I just wrote for my net ionic equation. Two really quick things. The things that I crossed out, the ions that I crossed out, those are called my spectator ions because they just watch the reaction. They don't actually change anything because they're staying the exact same. The other thing for you to know is that you should be always checking to make sure that your answer makes sense. So for here, I've got three MGs here, I've got three MGs here, I've got two PO4s, I've got two PO4s, that works perfectly. All right, and that's all there is to it. 